<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, people of the internet, this is Cold Brad of Chlorstorm Gaming, and welcome back to some more Dishonored. Praise yeah. be to Kool-Aid Man. <laughs> Yay, back to more Dishonored. Let's see how bad I fuck this up. <laughs> or how faster it's going to be until we start guns a-blazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, recently it's just like the moment I get caught, I just let them kill me. Uh, because like decision for this run. <laughs> yeah, because like, because uh, like the fact that I got like things that weren't supposed to appear until later and or early on, if you got high chaos, j just spooked me. So I'm just yeah. going, all right. I'm making sure not to kill anyone. I'm making sure not to get spotted, and let's just see how we can do this. But I think at this point, since I've gone through two missions without getting spotted and not killing a single character, I'm good. So that means, in case I, if I have to kill someone, I can. I have some leeway. Yeah. All right. So let's go to sleep and see what the next day takes us. Oh boy, another loading screen. Ooh, sounds like Sonic goes. Oh yeah, Sonic 06's loading screens were terrible. I'm pretty sure it takes four to do one, like challenge for an NPC. Yeah, yeah, it does, you actually. talk to them, then it, and then it tells you what they're, what the mission is, and then it loads again to the mission. And then it takes the loading screen for them to talk to you, and then a loading screen for the challenge to end completely. Yeah, yeah, to go uh, Except so, for, there's... Alright, all right, so you talk to them, you're in the hub world and you talk to them, then the loading screen happens. Poor the cha uh, the uh, challenge <gasps> begins, you at the beginning to talk to, to talk to them, after that, uh, you do it, and then you talk to them again, which leads to another loading screen, and then, yeah, like, it's, like, roughly four. Yeah, but there's one challenge in the entire game, in Shadow's store, where it only loads twice, like it should. You tell, you talk to him, he tells you what the challenge is, you load into it, and then when you're done, you load out of it. That's it. Why is it not like that for every challenge in the game? Yeah. Sonic 06 was just a mess. Yeah, a mess has, of many things. It has so much potential and they failed. Alright. Beginning of the day, I use see-through walls and I see someone taking a bath and Piero being a perv. Let's stop him. <laughs> Piero, stop looking at people taking baths, you fucking weirdo. Oh yeah. <laughs> You know, I could... Piero, what the fuck are you doing? I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. Oh. The tumblers... The camera rolls the... ...shaped like... Forever. ...snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking. Why do I just lock? have a picture of Southern Italy? I'd rather you not. Yeah, I hope. I'd rather you don't spy on people here, Piero. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I no, also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. All right. Piero is walking away. He's through the door. Okay, let's see what's through this uh this keyhole. <laughs> like, yeah, don't spy. I'm gonna spy and stuff. Alright, that's all we need to see. We technically can walk in, in there, and just scare the fuck out of her, Attention but uh, I'm not gonna do that. Be aware that moving <laughs> of evacuated areas is a serious offense. Yeah, I've been, been playing through Ultra Sun. I still have not scary. beaten my copy of Ultra Moon. At all. <laughs> I beat it in like the first month of release, and then I was like, I played basically everything Moon had to offer, so there's not really too much of a reason to keep playing this. And then now I'm gonna beat it, the story of it, complete the Pokedex, and then let a friend borrow it so they can shiny hunt a grout on, and then get it back after that. The high overseer is supposed to be the most. They really want that shiny Groudon, but they can't do it on their own copy because they accidentally got so much Groudon already. In the faction Campbell was a farce. 
if not for all the King black male material fun. he accumulated. He'd have never been more than a lower-level initiate among overseers. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face. Not the attack. But a team Martin is complete. All right, let's let's go. Uh, recent uh, in the last part, I uh, I kidnapped the guy. Huh. Yeah, I kidnapped the guy. I don't think I was there last time. Yeah, you were not. I, I it was me, and then halfway through, Dominic came in, so I wasn't alone. I was at a. I think that's when I was at Mars' house, or he was over here. It was one of the two. Yeah, let's go interrogate the guy I kidnapped. I think I popped in the I hope will cooperate. I'd hope to have screen for a second to just to see like what was yeah, happening in it, and then I left. Yeah. Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other. It's pretty bad that my tooth that I had to fill in on like you. So hurt me. Corvo knows what loyalty is. been a week. Ah, I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. And it did. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empire. working on Earth. The Prime Prime Master, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am yeah. beyond petty scare. I found this jelly adventure. Oh, it's a rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress, the very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, and I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Perhaps I can find a bribe for you, Sokolov. <laughs> Curious strategy. Of which I approve. Talk to Piero and buy a bribe. Do I have any cash? I hope to god I have ca- Okay, I have like 538 coins, I'm good. Well, hold on now, you gotta save that for the whorehouse. Yeah. Oh, hey Nick, how you doing? It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Did <laughs> not know you entered. Oh, it's okay. It's Fucking, what I where, where's that cardboard box of yours? <laughs> I ate it. You ate the oh, McDonald's no. box? Seriously? It had some pizza grease left on it, it was pretty good. But yeah, as you can see, I am playing Dishonored. Yeah, I'm like halfway. I'm like halfway through the game right now, actually. Oh damn! Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I need to go talk to Piero. He has. Uh, he. I need to buy a bribe in order to bribe Sokolov. You know what game you're gonna do after this one? Uh, Deus Ex: Human Revolution. So pretty much more action, stealth action. But in with that game, I can more, kill without remorse. With with more. Broken body game physics. Yeah, yeah. And then af and after that game, you're gonna go to um, Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker and just play that one stealth island over and over again. Oh god, that that mission was terrible. I hated it. Yeah, it is awful, and that's my least it's favorite part well of that entire known game. Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste I is revolting. Cobrad is. Yeah. Is your Discord However, image? Is that. What is that? Is that a Teletubby? What is that? Oh, my Discord it image? Uh, give me one second. I completely forgot what, I, what my Discord image is right now. Stuff, a blend of rare is that your Roblox OC? It's badass. A drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Sokolov is a potential ally. I'll take the brandy. Like oh, this is only 150 coins. I'll take it. Is yours just Isabel? Just enough to loosen the broads. Is that what yours is? Little, little Isabel. 
I'm yeah. the fucking Kool Aid man with a third eye. <laughs> man. All right. I, I, I see. Something. What what is my uh? I'm guessing it's something from. Is oh no! Shinra? It's uh yeah. Oh yeah, my uh my. Uh, <laughs> it's a it's a demon from Shin Megami Tensei. It's demon. It's a Ho. demon. Yeah. From Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah. It's it's Jack Frost wearing the demonica armor. It is the most cutest thing of all time. It's like he what will kill you fuck? with his cuteness and an assault rifle. <laughs> is, the, is there assault rifle actually part of it, or is that just like some meme shit? Uh, yeah, no, the assault rifle is part of it. Their normal attack isn't like a normal slashing attack. It's actually gun-based. This is... It's not even deep-fried, Jesus Christ. Yep. It's just like, it is, uh, the Jack- the Jack Frost demons are about, are my favorite demons in SMT. I love them. Yeah. I could use I like them one point. Anyway. Like, Sokolov, here's some fucking brandy. You fucking douche. He'll kill you with kindness and then several bullet wounds to the chest. Yeah, yeah. Street brandy. If they can't kill you with the cold, they'll kill you with kindness. If they can't do that, they'll just shoot you. Extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. <laughs> they just walk up to like, hey, you want some cookies? She was always referred just to fucking as die. Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you. <laughs> That should just Still be an, an entire TV show based on that idea. Which boil she is. I was like, to be really, to her really a nice assassin. Honor this very night, but I will miss that party. It seems. A masked ball at the. I've been uh, tonight playing a tiny tonight. bit of uh, uh, Eat Year Zero. Road to Eden. Security will be very tight. Of course. Playing on the you hardest difficulty. Have a mask, don't you? Right. Been, been breaking my balls a little bit. I want to get back to playing Earth, but, um, which of the but the beginning of that game just fucks me anally with no lube. Oh, which game? We're very close. Uh, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike Link? the Lord Regent himself. Oh, Earthbound. Oh, yeah. That, the beginning of that game, like when you're on your own, can really kick your ass. Yeah. I hope I get. And then the moment, game. and then the moment you get like other characters like Paula, Jeff, that's okay, when things get easier. The at least. Little bash tonight. I, I have it's funny because I changed all of their names except for Pooh because his name is fucking Pooh. You'll know him. Uh, did you change your favorite thing to pussy? In fact. No, I changed it to pain. Oh, because like that. <laughs> Because there are like some hilarious things where like if your character's homesick, it'll say like um, uh, it's, uh, the main character uh, begins uh, begins uh, fe uh, smelling. Uh, no, it's not a favorite thing. It's um, a favorite food. Change that to pussy, and it says uh, the main character can smell pussy. <laughs> oh, that'll be great in the beginning of the game because you can go to your mom to heal for free. So she's like, eat some pussy and go to bed. Yep. <laughs> I put it as trash. So oh god! Just, just they eat some trash and go to bed. Of course, bed. <laughs> oh, yes. but Which I don't think good. is as funny, but it has some humor to it. Only if it has like a sound effect of uh, a Danny DeVito. Let's going, see. I'm not a fucking animal. I'm pretty sure there you, is. You are an animal, Nick. You oh, just yeah, don't was, know it yet. I was watching a playthrough yeah. of uh, the game at one point to see what it's like later on. And their favorite item was their favorite food. They named it Dad's Belt. So it was like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> whenever it was like the feeling homesick, it was like, you remember Dad's Belt. <laughs> <laughs> so then they don't want to go back home then. <laughs> yeah. So I'm. I don't know if it's actually true or not, but I've heard that Ninten from the first Mother game is the Dad of Ness. It is a. Uh it's a theory. A damn good one, but a theory nonetheless. I, Either that, like or it. it has to be a relative, because, like, they look so damn similar. Yeah, I like to believe it. And then Lucas is his own thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Something that well, Nintendo seems Mother to forget. Girl, huh? Well, that'll be fun, <laughs> but not for everybody. It's funny, because, um, there was this whole thing, and I'm pretty sure it was an interview with Reggie, and one of the questions was just, will you localize Mother 3? And I think he said, no, but we hear the outcry. Yeah. I just don't understand why the hell they won't bring it. They know it will make money. In fact, 
the fact that they localized make... the first game just shows that it will make money. Yeah, and the first game is awful. <laughs> yeah, it's very <laughs> archaic. Yeah, I mean it's good, but it's as good as an NES RPG can get. Like, like a, a Final Fantasy one. Yeah. It hasn't aged well. Japanese Final Fantasy one, not American Final Fantasy one. Once you get to the party. What's the big difference of that? Land right in. Enjoy your evening out with the fine quality. They're very drunk. Better you than me. So it's still weird to me that they brought the second game oh, in the series and none of the others. Right, I know I know the reason why I was like the American. Right, somebody explain to me how the fuck does zooming in with my mask allow me to hear things. Huh. I don't yeah, because like all right, all right, there's this like stilt man, yes, stilt man, uh, walking in the distance. I can't hear his footsteps yet. When I zoom in, I can. What the fuck? Extendo hearing. <laughs> I, I, I guess. Extendo ear. Have, have any of you guys played Dying Light? Uh, no. I'm interested no, but though. Heard of it. It's I, uh, I, it's on sale for sixty six percent off thirteen fifty nine, basically like fifteen bucks, crap tax included for the game at the second. Ooh, I and might I just I might just get it after the stream. I I bought myself a copy uh, uh, today. I want to mention to you guys this has got co op. Yeah. Just, if you oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah it, like like pretty much yeah. Dying, uh, the, what I heard of Dying Light is that it's a better version of Dead Island. Yeah, like Dying Light. You know, I only have one. Problem In fact, with Dying it was Light. made by Deep Silver, wasn't it? I think so. I only it, had one problem with Dying Light, because I played it a tiny bit on, on, on console PlayStation. And the only problem was that the story was, like, so stupid and silly I couldn't take it seriously, but it was terrifying because I had excellent gameplay. Good. Well, of course it's stupid and silly. It's a zombie game. Yeah, but it was, like, it was like B-movie silly and stupid, where I was like, Yeah, again, oh. ha have, you not, have you not played Dead Rising? It's a zombie <laughs> game. <laughs> Was it like Earthbound levels of crazy? No, or... I, haven't, I haven't experienced Earthbound, but it was like it's a... it was just it was just like it was just like the most predictable right thing right on the planet. Like if I jokingly made up something that would be terrible in a movie, it just happens, and you're like, oh, why did I kick myself in the balls? They say she sold them to the outsider. Why did you? Though? So, How about this? You do your Thanks. damn job, oh, okay. and I'll watch out for scale. But it was terrifying. It's like because I'm selfish. I play FPS games. You know, almost all of them. And whatnot, and so it's like I pick up this game. My first instinct was to find a gun, <laughs> not find a gun. <laughs> this game was like, no, I'm still a zombie apocalypse. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Was... You do get guns. That's just much later in the game. Yeah, but for me, it was like, uh, yeah, avoid these. I don't even know what they're called. The mutants that hunt you at night viciously. <laughs> All you have to defend yourself is a stick. You have is two balls and a stick. <laughs> No, don't talk to the ground. Okay. What items do I have? Alright, wait, am I good? No, I am not healed up at all. Alright. I know there's a bike in the game, but I don't know how to get it. The bike? Yeah. Uh, which game? Earthbound. Oh, well, do you even- you don't need the bike, though. It's useless. Uh, I know. Because you can you can only use the bike when you're alone. So pretty it's much like of, if everyone's dead. It's part of it's part, so that way it's like you know it's like that like that that adds all the more to the humiliation and the disturbed nature of everyone you know is dead too. <laughs> now you can ride oh. the bike by yourself back up. Okay, if I wasn't already to the first like past the first boss of the game, I think I'm past it. Was after that or immediately before. I would definitely restart so I could make my favorite food pussy. So because it's a like mothers under mothers understand these things, eat some pussy and scoot up to bed. Yep, they understand that what their sons need, and that is a good pussy. Good coochie. They need some good coochie. All right. You know it's weird. All right, we gotta we, we gotta kill. Oh. Uh, see what we want. Because I'm still like. Fairly young, but this game hits me with like, like nostalgia for like how my life was when I was like in kindergarten and stuff. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I, was... I hear gunshots. Okay. Yeah, come on, hit it. Stop missing. 
come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Oh, some bone charms in a room. Cool crow. Go away, he doesn't live here anymore. Yes, I want to get a cookie and throw away a cookie. Bobo threw the cookie away and took the cookie. Alright, let's go back. Hey, mother. <laughs> the mother is so helpful early on. Oh, yeah, she is. It's a full heal. Yeah, and it's free. Yeah, that's the better part. It's free. I don't care that I have to keep walking back to my house. I'm poor, I have seven dollars. Well, I have like a hundred in the bank, but I have seven dollars. Yeah, is there an item, like a weapon, that's just the best weapon early on? Or... Uh... Besides the, uh... No, no, not... There are no, like, best weapons early on. Uh... Also, good, right luck. Now, good, good luck trying to get the Sword of Kings, by the way. Oh, yeah, isn't that a one... One two, and two fifty six chance. Oh, it's two fifty six. Because a lot of a lot of RPGs like the the highest number you can get to was two fifty six. Ah, uh, I've seen runs of the game because I watched the com I think the completionist do a review of this, and he was like, "I've heard about this um one two fifty six run. Fuck that." looks awful because you have to go through the game and while you're going through collect every single one and 256 item in cold ridge prison while waiting for the executioner well beautiful oh. women in the latest fashion i grew up laughing a level huh. and, wine. and what of the hope time to go back to mom <laughs> i can see all her tomorrows oh i go back to mom so much guys tonight at your hand or she'll live out her days, oh. month after Yeah, year, also like the thing year after year, where um far away, even as her after fine clothes wear and like if you're too powerful to face up. Oh, where'd he go? Gray. Someone leave. Half the city can see the lights from the party, and they dream of the delights inside. Yeah. Like you when you get to a certain places. level, you can just instantly kill an enemy when you run into it. Lady Boyle's last party. All right, let's see if that can get any new powers. Yeah. Did did someone just leave the call, or am I going insane? Uh, Nick, are you still here? Oh no. Nah, no, you left. Okay. Let's see what else is here. What can I get? This. Is, I I love the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. It's great. Oh, you're playing it on the Super Nintendo Classic? I have Earthbound yeah. on the 3DS. Uh. Uh, on the 3DS uh, thing. Yeah. I I was gonna get it on there, and then I was like, at the time, I was thinking, I was like, hey, what should I buy? And I already planned to buy the Classic Edition, so I was like, yeah, why not? Because yeah, but with the 3DS, you can get, you can, you have it on the go. Yeah, I know, but I'm just, I like playing games on the TV more. I don't know why, I just usually get more dedicated to a game this way. And I also just like the feel of the SNES controller and love playing with it. Alright, please tell me I can kill these things. Uh... Bash him. Yes. Okay, you won. Do you get four party members throughout the game? Uh, yes, four party members total. All Unlike right. some other RPGs where you can only have three actively at a single time. Huh, I've played games like that. It's, it's not very fun, sometimes. Oh, I still think... Wait, what's this? Huh. One of my favorite um, turn-based RPGs I've played through somewhat recently has to be, um... Oh, um, Octopath Traveler. Uh, I, I don't have Octopath Traveler, but I heard it's really good. That game is just amazing. It's a love letter to old school RPGs. Yeah. Even though at the point I am, uh, I am I'm exactly halfway through the game because I've done chapter two of every single character, but I'm under leveled somehow. <laughs> yeah. That sounds about right. The game is built to make it so you don't have to go. Uh, bewildering dance. Bewildering dance. Uh, I think it was bewildering dance or grace. Oh. Uh, 
Bill yeah. Order and Grace. Yes. It's Grace. Yeah, but that skill can help you with leveling if you're lu if you're feeling lucky. Yeah, I know. I've I've done it before and gained a shit ton of levels. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, are uh, you feeling lucky? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Uh. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hey kid, do you want to become a member? Yes. Come back after you finish Earthbound. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's um a guy guarding the door, the Yes Man Junior, and if you talk to him, he says, "Hey, want to become a member?" And if you say yes, he says, "Come back after you finish Earthbound." But if you say no, he just fights you. Really? <laughs> yeah. This game has so many fourth wall breaks, and I love it. Heh. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked. The skate bunk shredded fiercely on his skateboard. <laughs> oh, I love the game's writing so much. Oh yeah, it's great. And... <laughs> I, um... I, as much as the games get shit on for being super popular and stuff, I am, like, a really big fan of Undertale and all that shit. So, like, you can tell what parts of that game are based off of this. Such as the writing. Yeah. And... It's kind of how the... <laughs> you don't really see it in Undertale, it's more dealt through. But you kind of see how, like, the overworld seems like it's kind of based off of it. Jesus Christ. What? That spiteful- That spike enemy just, like, shot across my screen. Alright. Oh, of course I always get the critical hits on the things that I don't need to hit. No, I don't want the cookie. Yes, abandon the cookie. So, like, how the- the- um, a lot of games I don't like overworld encounters, but this one it works in. What well, um, overworld? Uh, uh, overworld encounter? Uh, I, I like. I more so like games that have overworld encounters because random encounters can. Yeah, I guess uh, I've just kind of grown up. Because at least you can at, you, you can at least avoid overworld encounters. Yeah, like in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'm kind of mixed in how to feel about it because I'm so used to random encounters and I usually prefer them, especially in Pokemon games. Because Pokemon games, you can tell, were kind of built around the random encounter idea. Like, now they're doing a mix of the two. Hopefully. And hopefully they don't get rid of random encounters. How do I sheath my weapon? I... One thing... Okay, another thing I'm kind of confused about. As much as I love the Classic Edition, why is Chrono Trigger not on here? I have no idea. Because they have a few Square games. They have Secret of Mana. Oh, it's F. Oh, that's what I've been. I have to. Pr I have to press F to um, sheath my weapon. All right. It's kind of weird. They have like Secret of Mana, which is like one kind of Square game. They have Final Fantasy three. And isn't Super Mario RPG made and with them? You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe there. I don't understand what happened. I think that's what it was. I got the invitation. I need to get back to that game too. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh no. So many enemies. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly Run. tiresome. If you're not going to have but could it know? Maybe you should fucking die. Home. I'll struggle. Oh my god. I am Harold so screwed. Run. Difficult. As much but as couldn't think, game. Shall we go in? Just fuck me over, right? Yay. Going to catch plague and die oh you. no. I'm sure she'd like <laughs> invitation, that. please. I'm fucking dead. Here's my invitation. Can I go in and fuck some chicks now? 
remarks about Emma Style. All right. Time to go. Time to go. Well, all the time I got. Gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on Nintendo 3DS. Oh boy. Let's hope to God that your town hasn't been destroyed. I've actually been playing that game more recently. Um, some friends have been playing it more, and I was just like, yeah, I might as well go in my town and flex on them. Because I've had the town for like three years, and I've just built up a lot. It was fun. Uh, it's, it's a fun time. What is it tonight? The game's like a very relaxing game to play. Their hair and makeup are identical, but one's in red, one's in black, one's in white. It doesn't There's require a lot, so you can just kind of sit down every once in a while and play it. They don't get enough attention. Oh, then again, the I was right before. Doesn't Esma's All right, bedroom gotta kill Frank. If you could get up there, I bet you Frank Ban Ban What the fuck? I'm just fucking exactly stealing shit like from people's poster. pockets. I keep without that, that, well, while keep standing right next to them. I love it. I think I'm starting to enjoy myself. Uh, okay. Now I just have to hope. Okay. One enemy down. And another one to go. Oh my god. Well. Lord Shaw. Who the fuck is this I'm Lord Shaw day. person? Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Oh no. Uh, I deliver a note to Lord Shaw. He's in wolf mask at the boil party. I learned that. Um, I, <laughs> I, I love it. Are bad. The, the um. Get any worse? I, don't, are very I don't know of any actually any other games that it's appeared in. Damn it, I died. But the um. Yes. Rolling HP. I have a note from Lord Trevor Pendleton. Oh. Pendleton? What's he got to say to me? All right, I have to fight the boss again. Pendleton is a gutless lying sack do you know, of shit. Do you know if that no, mechanics no, appeared in a game will. since this? Oh, fuck. All right, now I remember. Yeah, this I, we're gonna have a fucking uh, gun duel. So instead of shooting him, <laughs> I'm just going to use the, uh, the sleep darts. Let's see what you're made of. Nice. Mm, so so you don't Pendleton kill him. Yeah. Select his weapon. A contest. <laughs> Take place Jim. between this and none of us, gentlemen, acting for the challenger, Why? Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw. Kill it the immediately. Warrior. So I you will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. Uh, you may then turn and fire at will. Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. <laughs> Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Oh, I used the two hamburgers. Things he's encouraged to shoot. Stand right there. Man, this Three. is rough. Two. One. There we go. I put him to sleep. Oh, I'm really close to the next level, actually. And that's another so, patron dead. What do we do now? That's it's nice. lucky we're in demand. I hear the estimates pay gone. top coin. No use trying them tonight. Let's see if we can I think find what I named them all actually. Oh, that's the oils my the they, what I named the characters. Well, that little side quest is over and done with. But <laughs> I um named them Bobo after my nickname. I named Paula Ralph. <laughs> Why? Is, isn't it Jeff is the nerd guy? Uh yeah. I couldn't think of a name, so I just named him Nerd. Mm. And then I named Pooh. Did Pooh, because it's funny already. I don't I don't know why I named him uh, Paula Ralph though. Royals, hope you have a wonderful time. Alright, to the mansion foyer. This is gonna be an annoying this this was an annoying mission. Oh, there's already a guy there. Careful. <sighs> We tried for a peek okay. upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. Let's I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. <laughs> a party like this, anyway. Okay. Might have been Excuse me, my Make cousin. There's several guys. Oh god, there's so much slowdown. But people are desperate, 
And the boils are awfully Get well wherever you're going. Days. Nonsense. <laughs> Waverly just hires officers from the watch to oppress people. Her obsession with the boil women. Will it never Did you end? hear about Mrs. Brimsley? You'll never believe this. What is it now? She had her jobber pick up a boy in the street, barely 16 years Truth. old. No family left. I thought her interests were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. <laughs> they were sexual she rights, I can only assume. Or else. I heard she bathed in her own nephew's blood. Ridiculous. What sort of hygiene is that? It's a ritual for the outside. God damn it. To keep them safe, sir. Emma, you could get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent anywhere they don't want. The Brimsleys made an awful lot of money this past century. Yes. Make you all right wonder there. if those are the Tim! Alright. Going to this mission is going to be knowing as fuck that the, there are three people. One of which is my target. The other two, I, I have absolutely uh, or have nothing to do with this. Speak. The thing is, I don't know which is my target, so I have to oh. go through a lot of hoops to try to figure out who the fuck I'm killing. You there, stop that! Shit. <laughs> but yeah. Wait now. I'm a friend time of first of Super Metroid is when your cause. I know your purpose here tonight. And how to say this? Your target is the woman. This I is love. like I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's my first time playing through a lot of the games on here. For you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name okay, is yeah. Esma. I won't harm her. I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. Alright, so how the- Alright, so the target's name is Esma Boyle. I need you to find out which one is her. To what? Oh, Learn yeah, a trade. I need to do that too. Join the city watch. Your house, but go ahead, take it. Everyone does. I had a servant sew me an extra pocket. Indeed. Alright, so... How did I go through this? Uh, gather information by talking with guests, identify the cop, assume your target is wearing, eliminate Asma Boyle, and knock out Asma and deliver her alive to the basement. Well, I need to find a way to get to the basement. Sounds and like I hope fun. to God that it's not locked. Yeah. You need to stop right now. Okay, Thank I'll you. stop pickpocketing people. Jeez, there's just a lot of rich folks here, and it's an easy way to get money. I think like <laughs> I think like this mission. Welcome has the, the highest game. money count in the entire game. Like, this is where you can get exceedingly rich. Good yeah. sir. Evening, sir. Okay. Super Metroid has very awkward controls, my in my opinion. I don't oh, believe fuck. you've had the pleasure. Are you trying to guess which one is which? I was thinking of sneaking upstairs to look for clues. Or would that be cheating? I trust you are on the guest list, sir. Let's try sneaking upstairs and search the three bedrooms for clues. Uh... Ricardus claims he... Please move along. Okay, this is where I was supposed to go. But I was just... Oh. All right, I have bend time active. Right. Uh, the whale oil closet key. Where the fuck do I find that? <laughs> oh. All right, nice. got the bomb. Alright, I need to look for keys, look for keys, look for keys. Keys, keys, keys. You, a gentle, go ahead, help yourself. I take everything I can carry. They'll never miss it. Keys, keys. Oh, this is just a restroom. Let's just turn on the sink. They'll never know that they're losing water. 
dead, my evil plan. My evil plan. I will turn on this every single sink in every single restroom here. It'll be perfect. I'll get away with it, and they won't ever notice a thing. Why does that sound like it'd be like the plan of like some like children's cartoon villain? Yeah, because it probably is. Oh, I missed. What can I get for you? Okay, I'm looking for a key. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Why am oh I having such a Oh my god, where the fuck, fuck is it? What most people don't remember is the rats came a half a year before the Empress died. Excuse me. Oh, yes. I got no, no. Same with. Alright. What the? Blood? Hey, I killed it. Killed what? Killed who? Um, oh, there's a giant fucking fish. Whoa. What? It was. I don't know if they're called. In Super Metroid, when you get the bomb power up. Oh, you're playing Super Metroid right now? Yeah. Uh, uh <laughs> the bomb. Uh, you got the. Oh, you got the bombs? Yeah. For when you're in the Morph Ball. Ah, uh, the Morph Ball bombs. Okay. I already have the missiles. I have the bombs now. This game is fun. It is. And. The, in my opinion, the controls are kind of a bit awkward. What the? There. Like the controls are fine. They just feel slightly off. Oh, oh there's my shit. Shit, rats! Oh shit, right. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I killed the rats. Just gotta grab yeah. everything here. What's up, Hold on. Way? Oh, seems as though there's a nearby room. This game is beautiful, though. Basement vault key needed. Fuck! Okay. Oh, shoot. Where is she? Hurry and bring her to me. Oh. I will, Mr. Wolfman Dude Fuckface. I just need to get a few things. No, it's the top of the bottom, damn it. Okay. Damn, this is really quick acceleration. Yeah, she's like, re she's really fast in Super Metroid. Eh. Do I want to jump off this? Oh, doesn't that support me? It makes the platforming kind of hard to do. I am now trespassing. Alright, All right, so at this point, I now have to do the utmost of stealth. Uh, how many Sokolov's Elixir? Piero's Special Remedy do I have? Alright, I've got three. Okay, I guess that's all that I have. Skip time. Huh? Would you like to save? Yes. Save complete. Oh. Oh, where am I? Is this game fairly easy to get through with, like, out a guide or anything? What, Super Metroid? Eh, yeah. Somewhat. Though I haven't finished it myself. But, yeah. You don't necessarily need a guide for it. That's. It might help, I suppose. Yeah. But you don't necessarily need one. I'm gonna put this man on the tub. Oh, never mind, I suppose. Oh, right. Dunwall Tower Skeleton Key. I am going to need this for uh, the final mission. Well, near the final mission, I suppose. A clue. 
Esma, darling, there are three costumes for the party. It pains it pains me that I can't be there, though I'm sure you understand why. I know you're looking quite lovely in white. I enclosed the skeleton key to Dunwall Tower. When you visit me, no barrier will come between us. Okay. Okay, so it's possible that she's the one wearing white. Eliminate Esma Boyle, white dress. I don't find out which co Okay, so she is the one in the white dress. Alright. Well, let's check to see if there are any more clues I can get. Don't die. Alright. Shit. Ooh, another painting. Another painting. Wow. Oh, I thought there was going to be a loading screen. Nope. Okay, this one. I am... Apparently... Really... scared when I play this game. Because I think everything is evil. Energy. I got a square. All right, let's see. How, how is there? Game in existence of this game. Oh, jeez. That made everything shake. Oh god, please. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Chances are very good. <laughs> That's <laughs> Oh, there's the accident. Okay, elevator. Yeah. Do you have any games that you recommend to get from mm. the GameCube? Uh, that I recommend for the GameCube? Um, I have six games in mind currently, and those are Sonic Adventure 2, Super Mario Sun- well not six, seven. Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart Double Dash, F-Zero GX, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and Pokemon Call of the XD Gale of the Dark. Uh, do you have a Wii U? Um, yeah, but okay. I would say Twilight Princess, but that there's already a better version of that game on the Wii U. I don't really play the Wii U at all because my gamepad sides and it never wants to charge. I'm trying to think of other GameCube games that you can get. Uh. I I feel like I have like the, a good selection of a first like few. Jesus, Jesus, Graham, calm your tits. What? I'm just, I'm just like getting hit so much. So blow up. Oh yes. Trying to things like I'm probably not gonna get melee because I. I already know that's not my favorite Smash game. An old rusty key, Waverly's bedroom key. Well, let's keep looking around, see what I can find. Cause I hope to God I can get the uh, the key to the vault. Oh no! Big fall. Big fall. Oh God, Jesus! Oh God. This Christ game. Calm down. This game really likes the fuck. Apparently. I just, I just want to live my life. Okay. Awesome. I honestly can't think of one. A game that you can get. 
do it. I don't think I put Metroid Prime there. Oh yeah, Metroid Prime 1 and 2 are ones that you can get. I completely forgot about those. Isn't there a Metroid Prime 3 on like the Wii or something? Uh, yeah, that's that's a Wii game. Uh, I need to get that at some point too. Yeah. Because I'm excited for Metroid Prime 4, but I've not actually played a Metroid Prime. I don't really know if I keep memories that I don't really have. So, like, I have racing games. F Zero. Jesus Christ, how much cash do I have right now? 3,000! 42 gold. Yep. This is like a really, really good way to get gold. Oh, there you go. Basement Vault Key. I need this. Oh, I got a missile upgrade, so I can hold more of them. We. Oh, fuck, gate. Okay. Give me that. Oh, I can just blow them up instantly. With the missile. More things for me to steal. Okay, what's up here? Foil cigarette case. Like, I am rich! What the fuck is this? What? Oh my, what the hell? Think you'll get your own squad after what I happened think last it's night? a boss. Yes, <gasps> oh yeah, it is. Oh, I'm dead. Are you? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't do the thing. Yes, I want to return. Well, I guess. Throw back earlier. Oh. I have to go back through everything I just did. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make a save point next time I do that. That's the nice part about this. <laughs> That's a good vision. I can just cheat my way through with save point. I can do that on the hook, but not working. Alright. I mean, I am great at this game. <laughs> I have to explore that. Well, I know what to explore and what not to explore now. Explore everything. It's the best oh, way to go about any game. Alright, just run through. Okay, one item down. You don't have to kill these enemies without the waste time. Run through the door. You still playing Super Metroid? Yeah. Alright, yep, bitch. Come on down to Crazy Town. Ooh, I love Crazy Town. Yeah, fuck you, you alien. There we go, death. Alright. This door. The nice part is I can actually remember the. Okay, I'll go up there. there I you really go. like. Carry this guy. Weird that I'm like in love with a lot of Metroidvania games. A lot of times they're like kind of hit or miss for me. Like I've never actually played through this game. Weird. Like, have you played? Have you played any uh, Metroidvania Castlevania games? Um. Yeah. Now oh, which ones? I don't remember the names of them. Oh. I just know I have in the past. But I think one of my favorite Metroidvania games... I tried it when I was at Mars House. But I didn't actually... I haven't bought it yet. I'm probably going to do it after I get the GameCube. So that I... If I have extra money, like it's just going to be like a no-brainer to buy. It's a fucking Hollow Knight. Now, Hollow Knight's a great game. I might I even do it for the. I might even do it for the channel. Yeah. I played it at his house and it was like, I say the Lord Regent. Fuck, I love this. Because like, excuse me. 
Nice. Careful. It's an insect kingdom, which I really like the idea of. Hello, but The gameplay is just. Mm. I think I know your name. Oh, really? Who am I then? I think I know your name. Are you Jake from Steve? You're Esmond, correct? In the flesh. Oh, fuck. Now, oh, God, it's happening know again. What my sisters oh, are wearing. shit. Here we go. Oh, That's a... fuck. A missile upgrade. What color is Waverly's dress? Silly. She's wearing Again, back to where I was. <laughs> oh, oh, my word. I wasn't supposed to say, was I? Lydia and Waverly will be so fast. Oh, man, I am... This is exactly okay. what they said would happen. There's a lot of games on... Like, I think the Super Perhaps Nintendo Perhaps you can give me a tour of the upstairs? That sounds I think lovely. the Classic Edition Why is worth it. There are so many games I am never going to play on here. Well... I guess not really. I'm not gonna play through Super Goals and Ghosts. We found out what I'm not gonna play through the Star Fox games. This is the Contra doesn't interest me that much. You know they've dug down and, hmm. found the ruins of another and Super Mario Kart's just bad. So then, so, uh, if there are like only two, like, what games are you actually going to be playing on the... Evening, madame. I, right. I just looked at it, but I, I remember when I first got it, I was like, I'm not going to play like any of these, you know, and then now that I'm actually like in love with a bunch of old retro games and like realizing how much of a lie that is... Oh, but fuck. I'm only doing I will say, sure the they should have just made a button on the controller to go back to the main screen. It's so annoying having to keep getting up and going to the Truthfully, console. If I could get free of him, but like, I would. okay, out of the games I'm gonna play through, I'm planning on going through Super Metroid, Solid, Earthbound, Secret of Mana. I'm, I've been playing Street Fighter 2 occasionally. I'm, I'm never gonna play through Kirby's Dream Course. I'm gonna play through Super Mario World again. I'm probably not gonna do Super Punch Out. Not Star Fox. Yoshi's Island, yeah. Donkey Kong, Mega Man X, F Zero. Ooh, Mega Man oh, X. Yeah. yeah, they have Mega Man X on here, and it's fucking great. Um, Legend of Zelda. Okay, the games I'm not gonna play. I'm just gonna say those ones. Uh, Dream Course, Punch Out, Star Fox, Mario Kart. I'm probably not gonna do Punch Out. All right, stop time. Oh. So there's only like five games I'm not gonna play on here, and I think there's like I think there's like thirty stop or something. Stop time again. <laughs> this is why I got the stop time ability early on, just for this mission because of how stupid it is. Wait, this game, it, this system is also what made me love F Zero even more than I already did. Why? Uh, because of the original. Uh, I had super. I, Let's get her on I had um F Zero on Last my oh, actual no. Super Nintendo, and my original plan was just to fix my Super Nintendo, and then I realized Someday I found out that this existed, so I just bought that at this instead. It's like yeah, it'd be cool to have an original model of it, but also I am I am poor. <laughs> yeah. But you could have just emulated those games. Yeah. But I don't really have a computer. Oh, right, yeah, I completely forgot. If I had a good computer, I'd probably... I, I'm very mixed on the idea of emulating. Like, if I'm gonna do it for a ROM hack or a game like that. Yeah, I'm... I, oh. I only emulate if uh, it's impossible or damn near impossible to get the game. Or just too fucking expensive. Yeah, that's, that's what I am. Like, if I own the game, yes, I am fine completely. Oh yeah, like, like honestly, like, any emulated games that I have that I'm capable of getting, like, say, like, I, I had, uh, Mega Man, I emulated Mega Man Star Force 1. However, I recently bought Mega Man Star Force 1, so I deleted the emulated, the emulated version of the game that I had. Because I don't need it anymore. I have a physical copy. Yeah. Oh, like, I, I will emulate a game if I want to play it, and if I like it, then I might just get a physical copy of it and then just delete the emulated version that I have. Yeah. My thing... I... It's more of just with Pokemon, because I'm not really interested in a lot of ROM hacks and shit of other games like that. Because Pokemon ROM hacks, there are some great ones out there. It's like, I own all the games, so I let myself... I will let myself emulate them anyway. 
po hacks like Pokemon Sweet version are just. Mars has been playing through that and been kind of like seeing what's happened with that. Yourself. And it is extremely funny hearing him go through it. How? Um, you know anything about Pokemon Sweet? No, I do not. Mm -hmm. It's, um. Then you know the concept at all. Either. No, I, I don't. This is my first time uh, hearing of it, so enlighten me. Pokemon, Pokemon Sweet version is the ROM hack of Fire Red and Leaf Green. Mm hmm. And it, it uses Pokemon from every generation, not just one, but there's oh. still only like 151 Pokemon, I think, in it. Okay. But they're not called Pokemon, they're called Poke Sweets, and their designs are all changed to be based around foods and like cakes and all that stuff. Oh. Like, it's, the starters are Strawmander, Brownie Sore, and Squirrel Pie. Oh, God. <laughs> and the game's all cutesy and stuff. But the catch is, it's hard as fuck. <laughs> it is apparently one of the hardest Pokemon ROM hacks, and that makes me laugh at it. It's like, it's so cute. Everything's like bright colors, and God then damn it fucks you over. I also, fucked up because I, just, <laughs> I accidentally Goomba stomped someone. Ah. <laughs> uh... Is Pokemon Reborn gonna be continued on here? Or is that what the game was called? Yeah, uh, uh until, uh, Biz, uh, until the Bizbong, the Frisbee, the bowling ball, uh, is able to, um, find a way to uh, find some transportation to go to Adam's house, uh, then yes. Is and, he... and, and at the same time, if Adam's able to fucking just go back to being able to stream normally again. It, what's actually been all happening with this? Uh, he still has shit internet, and that's that's really it. Did he, like, move somewhere and nothing to really have put him with the internet yeah. yet? Yeah. Uh, that sucks. Hopefully it gets fixed sooner than later. And I feel bad for him. What? <laughs> D what? <laughs> okay, what? Okay, I, I, did I get just get caught in like a spotlight or something? Or is this, that happening again? Because it's been a while, I don't remember. Uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting, well... Holy Street Fighter 2, tr oh, Street Fighter 2, the only Street Fighter game that, uh, the only uh, other Street Fighter game that's been fucking re-released so many fucking times. Yeah, I'm, what was the thing I was looking at? I've actually played this game a tiny bit. One day when Mars is over, we were playing the, that one version, that overpriced version on the Switch, because he got it like a while back. And that was actually like, I'm not a fan of traditional fighting games most of the time. Except for like fucking Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate. I, I love that game to death. And I hope they point it over to the Switch. Shit. Shit. Oh. Alright, yeah. How many? I'm trying to think of how many versions I know of Street Fighter 2. I don't really know myself how many versions of Street Fighter I, there are. I'm pretty sure there's um like this anniversary collection, and I'm pretty sure on it there's four different versions of Street Fighter 2. Which is, that just sounds great. Who wants to play the same game several times? Wow. I'm bad at it though. Like, I want to get good at games like this. Because, like, my only fighting game experience is a game that can't really qual barely qualifies as a fighting game. Damn it. Nice. Yeah, I, I like Smash and all, but it's not really. The same? Yeah, it's more of a- you can tell it's not a fighting game, it's more meant to be a party thing. Yeah. Well, Burgos would fucking fight you on that one. Yeah, it's more built around the idea of being played at a party than, like, Street Fighter, where it's meant to be, like, more competitive. And I- I do play Smash competitively, and I want to get into tournaments and shit, but, like... 
hell no. It's just... I don't know. They have reason there. There was this guy I used to watch all the time, and he made a video on Smash Brothers 4 glitches when Smash of the Source was the newest game. And he was like, in this children's party game, he put that like quote into it just to see what people would say in the comments. And that joke got him so much fucking hate. <laughs> oh, well. The internet is way too protective of what is and what's not called a fighting game. <laughs> I, didn't really, I didn't know Kirby Superstar was on this. What? Sweet. Yeah, but don't you want to just play the D the better version on the DS, Superstar Ultra? Yeah, I want to get that at some point. I might not, I might as well play a few of the games. So. Is this your first time playing? No. Shall we explain copy? No. I, I don't... Okay, thanks, game. I told you not to explain it. But, um, I am somehow bad at Kirby games. I don't know how it's possible. I am. Okay, alright, so this is actually part of the actual fucking mission. Wow, okay, I have the helper now. Oh my god, this game controls beautifully. No, buddy. Come over here, man. Ah, uh, what's in here? Oh, so the kibbles. Um, there we go. What? It always looks like they're making out. Who? Hey, Kirby, like when you go like to one of your partners to after you get an item. Oh yeah. You know the story, it just looks like they're having a make out session. Yep. Oh. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed your Happy evening, bros. Sir, but we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Hey, he's dead. Well, just completed that mission. Two hostiles killed. I had to kill two uh, weepers, unfortunately. But no bodies or on no dead or unconscious bodies found. Discovered Lady Boyle's nice. identity, delivered Lady Boyle to her admirer, and defeated Lady, um, Lord Shaw in a duel. Oh, I almost got all the money. I was missing uh, roughly 800 gold. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, well. This game seems like it'd be way more fun with a friend. What? Um, Kirby Superstar. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad I don't have it. You have friends, just nowhere near yeah. you. Yeah, that's my problem with a bunch of games. Like, there's so many games I want to play with people, and rather, nobody else is interested in the game series, or it's only local. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. I really fucking love the Yokai Watch games, but no one cares about those games anymore. Uh, you say that, yet Japan's crazy over Yokai Watch. Yeah, I mean, America's America, just uh, indifferent, really. Yeah. I'm interested in Yokai Watch, I just haven't gotten any games for it. I have all three of them. And the spin off. I trust you enjoyed the Boyle's hospitality. And I hope that they localize Lord Yokai Watch. Because that was released earlier this month in Japan. But instead of being like what the other games are like. Where it's like the turn base. No, oh, yeah, it's turn base, turn based RPG. It's more. You know what Nino Kuni is? Uh, yes. It's basically that in Yokai Watch Four. And really? I don't know how to feel about it yet. But so I you wait, like Yokai it. Watch is more active turn based, or in the first three games? Well, first two, it's different than three. You have a you have your team of six yokai and they're on a little wheel. Yeah. And you have your, your front row is out and your back row is kind of you can use them whenever, but you can spin it so you can have like part of the back row and part of the front row in. Yeah. 
there's a bunch of different things you can do with that. But they attack on their own. You just control who's out. You use their soul to when that's charged up. And if they get um, infected with a spirit, you have to purify them. And then... Hello, love. Okay, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. Catching isn't just like Pokemon where you just like get them low and then chuck a ball at them Attention or something. Yeah. Citizens. You get them food. Well, it, you don't have to. If you wanted to, you don't have to do anything an like that. But you give them... The best way to do it is you have a Pokemon with... Not Pokemon. You did it. Yokai with and popularity. With a woman and and Yokai Watch 2, you have the popularity but spirit. Was a viper. She and the then you region, kill the Empress. go to the so Yokai you want in the battle. Person, give them their favorite food, you upheld my name in a rather spectacular and then you beat the battle like you usually would. And at the end of the fight, there's a chance you. that the yokai will join you. This little you. item has been helpful to my family over the generations. So it's all kind of luck. I find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. And I guess it can be kind of You've had a, a long good night, thing, but it's also kind of bullshit sometimes. Because like, and Martin have already you really want this like one yokai. And then it like takes you 30 you. years to get it. Oh. So it's not as easy to get stuff as in Pokemon. He's in Pokemon, you just have to find it. And then after that's done, you're just like, yep, you have to move on. I still love the games to death, though. Oh my god. Attention. And I don't know. I've kind of avoided looking at Yokai Watch 4 stuff so far. How come? Because I, I don't really well, know. Well, spoiler too much. stuff or just gameplay stuff. I've been looking at gameplay, and I don't want to look at the story because that's usually like, oh, even the story is not very important in the games. I just haven't seen stuff about it on the internet. And yeah, I mean, it's huh. a Japan exclusive game. Right oh, now. for Yokai Watch. Oh, well, will it be? Will it be coming to U.S. or? We don't know. There's a chance that it will, and then a chance that it won't. Was it 3DS or Switch? It's Switch. Okay, all right. So if it was 3DS, then no. <laughs> yeah, 3DS already received its last game. Yeah. I can make Wait, what was it? Which Persona Q2. That was the last game that will ever be released on Switch. Yeah. So I'm not Switch go out, uh, 3DS. Yeah, yeah, I intend to yeah. get it. In fact, like, that's the next game I'm getting. Yeah. Next game I'm getting. I'm gonna get it at some point. It's not gonna be like, oh, next big thing I'm doing. I'm what? focusing on. Persona Q2? Yeah, I wanna well, get it. Well, you better have played Persona 3, 4, and 5. I haven't played any of them. Oh, then you're gonna have. Then. No, don't don't play Persona Q2 then. I, I, I only played Kirby for seven minutes. I played Q. Persona Q1. And I've, a while back, I watched all the stuff of Persona 3 and 4. I'm still completely buying on 5, though, because I know it's, like, basically hopeless at this point, but I really want Persona 5 to release on the Switch. It won't. I know. I wish they would have just done it, because it would have sold amazingly. <laughs> and... That's like the only reason I won for other than uh that Spider Man game. Uh Marvel Spider Man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you are you gonna watch the Nintendo E three thing? Oh yeah, I will. I'm not working tomorrow or the day after and probably not on Wednesday either, so I'm walking. I'm watching um, three days worth of E3, man. I'm gonna watch the stuff I care about because apparently Microsoft did stuff today. Yeah, and uh, I, I hear some good things. I, I'm hearing some good things, so I'm I'm going to just catch up on Microsoft stuff. Hey, they were telling me about it. And I was like, huh. This doesn't seem very helpful to someone that doesn't like the Xbox. The <laughs> Increasing the output by almost. I don't really have a reason to own an Xbox anymore. Well, I've never really had one really for reason to have one in the first place. Because since I've had... I, I just kind of got stuck with an Xbox when I was younger, and that's all you know. That's what my family buys. 
I'm hmm. trying to convince him to turn to like the PlayStation and stuff because that game, that system has so many more exclusives that I actually want. And Microsoft, their idea of exclusives is having games that are on the PC like five months before. And then the one exclusive that I've actually cared about. Is that Holy I can... fuck! I think I upgraded. I it did, was not checking what upgrades I got. I was just buying upgrades willy nilly for my pistol. I got a shotgun yeah. upgrade for it. Attention, uh -huh. So my pistol is now a shotgun. <laughs> Who needs to aim? Yeah. Well, it's not like I'm even going to be using the pistol in the first place anyway. Yeah. The. Cuphead was the only exclusive that I was really excited for at all. I'm and waiting. I'm Cuphead. waiting for more information on Halo Infinite. Yeah, I'm not. Me really and Adam into, both. I'm not really into first-person shooters very often. That's understandable. It's not for everyone. I there's a. F I'm not really into. Sh I was. I used to not be into shooters at all. Well, I already died. Um. But, like, the game that first got me the tryout shooters was Splatoon. And then a friend convinced me to play Team Fortress 2. Well, the first thing, I got convinced to play Overwatch. And then from there, someone told me to play Team Fortress 2. And then that's kind of had me go off into, like, a different game. Hmm. Like, if it's a competitive first-person shooter, I'm really not into But, like, sometimes if it's a game with, like, shooter, I like, it's just part of it. Like, fucking the Fallout games. Yeah. Especially New Vegas. Yeah. I'm I'm all over that shit because I love Fallout New Vegas. Great game. Great Hello, game. I am Calista. Yeah. I am Emily's teacher. And this I is use, my lesson. The game that got me into the series, well, I guess I should, boring it's geography. technically boring, boring, boring three. Because I watched, Why I used to watch. Yeah, that's that's how I know I'm young. I used to monsters. watch my dad play that game when I was really young. Come on, game, hit it. I feel like I have to be at least somewhat count as young for that. Is what year was that game? Well, which game? Fallout Three. Fallout Three. Oh God, two thousand, uh, early two thousands. I know. Two thousand. Nine? I, I I'd like to say 2009, yeah. That just sounds right. But it's, the thing is, like, yeah, the, that was a while back, because like, when I think back on it, I was kind of young. And I, I'm right, because, like, I would have been Corvo, five come. when that game everything was released. We have done, everything that you have done has served to make Jesus. this moment possible. <laughs> the Lord Regent is... It's weird to think about, because I'm, like, Baldwin. not really and old. And everything is in place to strike at him. Step from the like, one man, uh, one fuck. beating heart is all that's left. Of the force it's also kind of weird to think that a lot of my favorite it games are made before. But it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an like Super Mario World. He has lost the support of the overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. All right, next mission, well, which will be next stream, will be go, um, going to Dunwall Tower and ending this. Ah. Yep. Are you like really close to it? Actually, no. There are several more missions after this, really. Uh. It's end this question mark, but no, there are other stuff that ends up happening. But first, before I end it, I want to go talk to a couple more people. Oh, the stream was almost over today. Yeah, it's remember one mission per stream. Yeah. yeah. I can't go into the hound pits. That's strange. Anything else here? Any more? No. Okay. All right. Well, I might as well just save it here. So anyway, this is Cold Brad of Core Storm Gaming, and my good friend Link. 
Yeah. Uh, signing off. Bye. Bye, fuckers.